In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use a 64GB SD card or above on a Nintendo Switch without being forced to update using a homebrew 3DS. So why does this even matter? Well, if you're waiting for a homebrew like me, then you probably don't want to update your system and you want to stay in the lowest firmware as possible to be able to utilize a homebrew when it releases. So some of you have already noticed that Nintendo forces you to update your console to the latest firmware if you just want to use an SDXC card, and that's really bad if you want to wait for the homebrew like I do. So let's get started. So right here I have an 8GB SDHC card once I focus and I'll show you. And I'll be using this to show you what the difference is between the SDHC and the SDXC cards. Let me show you the card I'll be using on the other one. Uh, right here I'll have a 64GB SDXC card and this is, will be the main SD card that I'll be using to show you how to do this. Alright so let's jump onto the console and I'll jump to settings real quick. So you can see right here that I don't have an SD card in here already and when I scroll down just a little bit further you'll see what firmware I am on. As you can see I'm on firmware 2.3.0, I haven't updated since I got it so this is as is what I've got. Now let me turn this around and I'm going to put in the 8GB SD card and show you what happens when you put in an HC card in there. Now we put it in here and we flip it back over and you'll notice that Nintendo prompts you to just restart the console when using just an HC card. Let me flip back over and put in the 64GB card and I'll show you what happens when you do that. We'll just turn it back over and show you what happens this time. Wait, that didn't work. Let me put this in one more time. Maybe I didn't just read it. Alright. Alright, as you can see here, the system requires you to update it this time as it recognizes it as an SDXC memory card. I'm not going to update, so I'm going to press later, and I'm going to take it out and show you what to do next. So unfortunately, you will need a homebrew 3DS. Later, I'll show you how to do it on the PC, but here's my 3DS, and this is my homebrew. So I'm going to turn it over and I'll show you that I do have an SD card in here already, but you're going to need one, so make sure you do have one in there with Homebrew running on it. So what you're going to do is you're going to turn off your 3DS and you're going to turn it back on, but before you turn it on, make sure you hold the start button. This will launch into Luma Chain Loader or it may already just launch into God Mode 9, however you have it set up. Mine is going to launch into Luma Chain Loader and I'm going to boot into God Mode 9. So after loading God Mode 9, you'll want to unmount your SD card. Uh, you'll want to press R and B to unmount it, and it'll show you when it's unmounted because it'll say remount SD card. Now you're going to turn over your 3DS and take out your existing SD card, and then you're going to go ahead and put in your SD card that you want to use for a Switch. After popping in your SD card and turning back over, it's going to say that initializing the SD card failed. Would you like to retry? Even if you tap it yes, it's going to fail again because the 3DS is not supported on an XE card. So what you're going to do is press the home button and go down to the more tab option that you see at the bottom. In the more tab option, you're going to tap on the SD format menu. And in that menu, you're going to go ahead and tap on no menu NAND. After you tap on no Eminan, you're going to tap on auto, and in the auto section, you'll be able to name it however you want. I'm just going to name my switch. So after picking a name like I did, you're just going to press A to proceed, and then it's going to ask you to put in this button combination. Just put in the button combination and just press A at the end. It's going to format. It may take a minute. Mine took literally seconds, so I don't see a problem. And then it's going to show you that it's been mounted and you can unmount it. As you can see at top, it's 59.4 GB available from the 64 GB SD card. So what you'll do next is you can just turn it off. You can unmount it. I just turned mine off and flipped it over and now you can take out the SD card. So back over to the switch, you'll want to unlock it 
and go to your home menu and when you get to your home menu you're going to flip it back over and now you're going to put in that SD card that you had just formatted. So after you put it in you flip it over your console will now tell you just have to restart it instead of updating it. Uh, this will you know just restart it like normal and when it comes back up you should be able to use it now. Now with the console rebooted, you can actually go into settings now and check on the SD card yourself. And now you can see here that I have successfully been able to use my SD card at 59.4 GB left. And I'll scroll down here to show you that I'm still on the same firmware that I started this video off on. And right here it says 2.3.0. And now I have a 64 GB SD card properly working on my console. And that is all to it. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed the video please leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions about what you just saw please leave a comment below I'll try to answer them. In the future I will be making a video on how to do this on the PC as I know some of you guys may not have a homebrew 3DS. For now I'll catch you guys next time.